and here is the beast. The GTX 1070 with its massive 8GB of DDR5 RAM. This massive Pascal Architecture GPU can accommodate up to 4 different display ports as well as an additional DVI port. You'll have no issues playing your latest 4K games as well as using your new VR set. The second PCI peripheral we are going to install today is the Thunderbolt 3.0 PCI card from Asus. This PCI card is completely optional, but it will allow us to have a backup 4K display as well as ultra-fast Thunderbolt 3.0 rated classic USB 3.1 and Type-C inlets, which can transfer data up to 40 gigabit per second. This PCI card requires a double connection to the motherboard, one through the PCI slot and the other one through the Thunderbolt header, which will be connected to the motherboard through a direct cable link. And this is what it looks like on the card front panel. Our USB 3.1 Type-C, our USB 3.1 Type-A and our mini display to feed our USB Type-C with video input. In green on your screen uh, we can see which PCI slot we are going to be using for our PCI Thunderbolt 3.0 card as well as the corresponding backplate that we are going to remove on the back of our case and in red on your screen, the PCI slot that we are going to be using to install our massive 1070 GTX. Do remember that this PCI slot will be running at 16 speed to allow the best possible performances. Worth mentioning, we will be removing not one, but two backplate out of this case to accommodate the double deck video card and its five displays output. Time to slide in our 1070 GTX. Make sure to remove the protective cap out of the PCI circuit connector and gently slide in our GPU card. Now as you insert it, make sure that you hear the little click which will signal that the card is securely put in place. Alright, last thing to do here is to simply connect our Thunderbolt 3.0 PCI card to the motherboard and we are going to do so through a link cable provided by the manufacturer. Make sure to clip it in place respecting the orientation of the plug. Mm -hmm. 